Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve a systems of equations using elimination. And in this case, we are going to know that your solute, um, we're going to either have no solution or infinite many solution. Now obviously most often when you're given a problem, you're not going to know what the solution is. That's obviously the point of doing the problem. But I decided to break this apart because a lot of students when they're going through the method of using elimination, they get to a point and they don't understand what the answer represents. So that's why I wanted to segment these different than my first video on solving using elimination. So just just a reminder when you know you're solving a systems of equations of two equations you know when we were graphing them one solution was the intersection point the x and the y coordinate of where the two lines intersected no solution represented that we had parallel lines that did not intersect and infinite many solutions meaning we have the exact same line graph so they would intersect indefinitely so basically what we're going to do is we're going to follow the process of elimination. Now remember, elimination, basically what we're going to do is going to be combining our two equations. I prefer to add rather than subtract. And what we want to do is we want to identify the variable that's going to be the easiest to eliminate first. And that, to choose that variable, you want to choose the one that has the coefficients with the, or the variable with exactly the same coefficients, positive or negative, or both positive, both negative, doesn't really matter. So in this example, you can see that we do not have any coefficients with the same, um, or any variables with the same coefficients. So then the next thing to do is look for the variable that has coefficients with a, multi with a um, common multiple that's pretty easy to obtain. Well, you can see that here, 3 and 6, their common multiple is 6. And from 4 and 8, their common multiple is 8. So to get the common multiples, all I need to do is multiply my top equation by 2. Now, you can multiply by 2 and call it good, and then subtract the two equations. However, as I reminded you, when I'm combining them, I don't like doing subtraction. A lot of students, I make mistakes just like the majority of students will make mistakes. So I prefer to always use addition. Now, when you're using addition and you need to eliminate a variable, one of the coefficients has to be positive and one of the coefficients has to be negative. So if I multiply by a positive 2, that's going to be a positive 6x, that's going to be a positive 8y, which is fine, and that will be a positive 36, which is fine, but then you'd have to subtract the two equations. And I would prefer to add them, so I'm going to multiply by a negative 2. So when I apply distributive property here, I now obtain a negative 6x minus 8y equals negative 36. Okay? So now I basically have rewritten my top equation in blue, and I still have my second equation. So now that I have coefficients exactly the same, one positive, one negative, I can now add the two equations. So I usually don't write this out, but for this case I'll do that. 6x minus 6x is 0x. 8y minus 8y is 0y equals negative 18. Well, 0x plus 0y is 0 equals negative 18. And 0 does not equal negative 18. 0 equals 0. So whenever you're using elimination and you combine them and you lose your variables, you eliminate both variables instead of just one, and you're left with an equation that is not true, therefore you have no solution. And you can always check that by maybe rewriting these in slope-intercept form. And what you'd notice is that the slopes would be exactly the same, but the y-intercepts would be different. OK, so now let's get into the next example here. Um, again, we don't have any coefficients that's 1. Otherwise, I'd use substitution. But we want to use elimination. Uh, neither Any of the coefficients are not the same. So again, I have to look into which variable is going to have the easiest uh, multi common multiple that I can just multiply by a multiplier. Well, you can see here now, the top equation is just double the bottom coefficient. So therefore, I could either multiply the top equation by 1 half to, receive, to get these, or I can multiply the bottom by 2. Now, I'm multiplying by positive 2 instead of negative 2 because you can see positive, negative, negative, positive. So that's what I like. I like having positive and negative when I add them because that eliminates them. So I, again, have to apply distributive property. So 2 times negative 2x is negative, uh, negative 4x. 2 times 5 is 10y. And 2 times negative 9 is a negative 18. Now, since I, um, since I transferred over the bottom equation, I'm going to rewrite the top equation again below it. So I have 4x minus 10y equals positive 18. So again, you can see that the coefficients now are exactly the same, except one's negative, one's positive. So therefore, I will add the two equations. And when adding the two equations, again, I end up with 0x plus 0y equals 0. But now, in this case, I have 0 equals 0. And that's a true statement, so, and a true equation. So therefore, when you have something like that, 
Whenever you have a true statement, 2 equals 2, 5 equals 5, negative 10 equals negative 10, you have infinite many solutions. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a system of equations using elimination when you have infinite many and no solution. Thanks.